السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته everyone my name is Captain Talal I've been a pilot with Qatar Airways for 14 years and I'm a captain on the Airbus 320 Today we'll be answering the most searched questions about pilots and aviation on the internet All right, so let's start with our first question. What does a pilot say before takeoff? Well, the first thing that I say is Bismillah. Well, this is a perfect opportunity for pilots to introduce themselves to the passengers and to give details about the flight, the flight time, the weather en route, and maybe even some information about delays. Why do pilots not have beards? Well, some of us do, but it's not recommended that a pilot has an overgrown beard for emergency purposes. Because there are two situations where a pilot would need to don a mask. One situation would be a smoke hood. And if you have an overgrown beard, the smoke hood is not going to seal the space around your face. So there is this threat of toxic fumes seeping in or smoke seeping into the smoke hood. The other emergency situation would be in a decompression where the pilot will have to don an oxygen mask and you need to ensure that the mask is sealed around the face so that oxygen can flow efficiently. Next question. Are pilots scared of turbulence? No, but it sometimes wakes me up when I'm asleep. Do planes have horns? Yes, planes do have horns, but we don't use it like the cars beep their horns. We use the horn in the plane to get the attention of the ground crew when we, when we are on the ground. Question number five. How do pilots use math? Well, most of our math is mental math. We use math to calculate pressure altitudes. We do a lot of conversions and we use it to calculate our descent profile. Next question. How do pilots deal with jet lag? Well, pilots deal with jet lag differently than a passenger would. Uh, there are some measures that you could take, such as exercising, eating healthy. And the most important thing for pilots is to maintain their body clock on their home base time zone. But with passengers, you should try to acclimatize to the new time zone that you're moving to. How do pilots know turbulence is coming? Well, before the flight, we are given briefing packs which provide us with information such as weather charts where we can identify areas where weather is. And as well, we have charts for high level wind charts which we can see where the jet streams are. These are the two main factors that are associated with turbulence. Another uh, reliable uh, way of, of knowing when turbulence is coming, experienced pilots that fly the same routes usually know where the areas of turbulence are, especially clear air turbulence. Our right, last question. What do pilots do on long flights? Well, uh, a lot of passengers seem to think that we sit down and do nothing and just let the autopilot fly. However, that is not true. One thing that pilots do, especially me, drink a lot of coffee. Another thing that pilots do, which is very important, is that they plan for contingency. So they would prepare diversion plans in case an emergency arises suddenly. All right, I guess this uh, brings us to the end then. I hope I answered all your questions to the best of my capability, of course. And uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you on board.